In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple little pressure that actually has the potential to be one of the best blitzes in Madden right now. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden players they could possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, be sure to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and like I said, it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the channel. Now, I put a poll out on my channel uh, a couple days ago and I asked, for, asked you guys... What is the defense that you would like me to put together and release as a defensive guide for you guys this weekend? And you voted for the nickel triple. And so I released a full nickel triple defensive ebook on Friday. Now, if you want to get the entire defensive guide, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. This is just a sample play to kind of show you what is possible from this formation. And I'm telling you right now, I've never had so much fun playing defense than with this defense. This defense requires thinking, it requires uh, adjustments, but it's one of my favorite defenses ever. And the reason why is because it is a very balanced defense. It allows you to succeed in a lot of different facets of the game, um, from a four down lineman base rush to a five man base A gap pressure to edge rushes to show blitz looks, all of the different things that we want to have in a defense. This defense contains it. It's almost like a bear set out of the nickel triple. So if you want to get my full triple defensive guide, there's a link in the description below. Today we're going over the play Nickel Blitz 2. All right. So in Nickel Blitz 2, what you're going to notice is this slot corner comes right here and it gives us this really unique blitzing angle. Now, just for sake of uh, explanation, I want to come out in a Tampa 2 and I want you to look at the, at the slot corner on that right side just so you can get a kind of a feel. You see in this example, he is in that position. Now, if I go to the Nickel Blitz, same thing, he's in that position. But with Nickel Blitz 2, he comes down into a blitzable uh, area of the field, which I really like that about this Nickel, uh, this nickel Blitz 2. So if you look here, there he is. And then once we go ahead, and, and again, you can do whatever you want to do. I personally like to show Blitz. But if you look at what it does, it pinches this guy in off the edge. Okay, now that's kind of step one. Now step two to this blitz really is we don't really have to do anything. This is why I love the nickel triple because it, it comes ready to go. And you'll see here I'm going to stand in that little gap just like that. And you'll see the blitz will kind of loop around off the edge. So it's a good edge blitz. Now the, where this is going to get kind of unique I think is in how we're going to, I'm going to show you real quick, I'm going to audible to cover three cloud. And if you take a look at the blitz angle from if you look at those three down linemen, look at their blitz angles, and then we're going to reset, and you're going to see that they are basically the exact same uh, blitz angle. So that being said, what I like to do out of this, also one little quick tip, is if you flip the play, it brings those same blitz angles now to the back side of the formation. Why this could be beneficial is because bunch, it is going to allow us to get pressure off the running back side, just like we can get pressure off of the tight end side. This year's game it's actually much more effective, in my opinion, to get pressure off of the running back side than it is to get it off the tight end side. You get better bang for your buck by doing it that way. Now, all we're going to do is we're just simply going to press and QB contain. And what you're going to see when we QB contain is we're going to be able to basically get instant pressure off of this gap. As you see right there, that is the beauty of the nickel triple oftentimes even though you can blitz from depth or from the edge the pressure itself is not going to come in off of that angle so we could do something like this and as you'll see we're going to get b gap nano blitz from jj watt and that's exactly what I like to do with this. And I'm going to show you why here in just a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to show Blitz as kind of our base look. And then from there, we're going to take this safety and we're going to sit in this gap. Now, bear with me on the coverage. We'll deal with that in just a second. But I want to show you the basic concept here. So what you're going to see is we're going to have one of those three guys will slip in. And normally, we'll actually be able to get some gap pressure. Now, if you're ever having any issue with your pressures, put unpredictable on your defensive lineman in this formation. It's really the best tip that I can give you. But what you're going to see here is oftentimes, as you see, worst case scenario, we're going to get the edge pressure. And most of the time, we're going to get this 
other pressure. Now, if you crash your defensive line uh, to the middle of the field here, this can also help a little bit with this pressure. I'll show you real quick. And as you see, you're able to come off the edge. Now, for sake of the video, what I'm gonna do um, is I'm gonna sub, I'm gonna kind of change where the players are at. So I'm gonna just kind of get some fresh players in here. Uh, so I'm gonna put Phillips in here, put Allen in there. And then I'm going to put a couple different guys off the edge. And that's going to help with some of the, the coding of the game. Now, in, in, in Ultimate Team, like I said, the easiest way to combat this is just use the unpredictable ability. And they won't ever you won't ever have to do what I just did. Now, the next step to this, obviously we've built a decent blitz. Okay, but now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to make this blitz work even better if they block their running back. Okay, so let's say that they block... Let's say that your opponent is um, is blocking his running back, okay? So we're just gonna block the running back here, and I want you to show you what happens. First and foremost, you're gonna notice that it gets picked up, and pretty much not what we want, and it's really not what we want in any any facet of the, of the game. Nothing that just happened was what we wanted to have happen. So what we can do, though, is we can do a couple things. First and foremost, we can crash our D-line to the right, and I'll show you what that looks like, and you'll see here, um, same kind of problem. They're just slanting into blocks and it's not really what we want. But what we can do is we can man up this guy on the running back. And what you're going to see is when we do that, it's going to give us a much better chance at getting this pressure. So you see here, that time the gap pressure got picked up. But as you can see, this really becomes a decent blitz. Now the other thing that we can do is by knowledge, we know that the running back is going to block he's going to block uh, this this uh, triangle of linebacker so you blitz this and you see there we're going to get looping pressure at the quarterback now the other thing that we can do from this is we can go ahead and we can contain rush off this edge now this contain rush um, like I said, is going to really give us uh, a leg up. As you'll see right here, the contain rush is going to loop around really nicely against the gun bunch. And so what we can now do is essentially turn this into pinch two. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to globally blitz the left of screen safety. And then we're going to have this guy coming in off the right of side of the screen. And then what I like to do is I like to bring this guy and use it with him over the A gap because it then gives that I could blitz this guy or this guy depending on the situation. And then obviously, you know, we might need to, you know, fix the coverage, maybe do something like that uh, right there on the back side. So as you can see, let's snap the ball. And now you see these double loopers are going to absolutely fly and they're going to work hand in hand uh, off the edge. So you'll see again, let me show you now, I'm going to bring this guy off this edge here. And you can just stack him or whatever, just kind of manually move him. What I like to do from this is to crash my line down. I feel like that gives me the, the, best, the best chance uh, at this. So again, we'll just kind of move these guys in where we want them. And then you're going to see now you've got this kind of pinch to uh, pressure concept. And at the snap of the ball, one, of the, one if not two of them are going to loop in. But what's also cool is oftentimes... I find that you're going to get some a gap pressure out of this as well so again we're going to crash the line down we're going to qb contain off the edge just bring that guy in blitz him this guy you don't even have to move him you can just leave him right there now let me show you what happens whenever our opponent delay fades a tight end you're going to see that you're going to loop around the left side so this is a way that we can easily guarantee our pressure uh, at our opponent with something as simple as this, I think this is super, super simple, but at the same time, super, super effective. So now let me show you how this is going to work against a max protect. So I'm going to max protect. And at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is we are going to get the edge rusher off the left side to come completely clean at the quarterback. So there's a lot of really interesting things that you can do with this. I mean, the more that, the more that you you know, send, obviously, the, the less coverage you're going to have. But in something like this, if you know you're going to guarantee pressure, 
you know, you just have to cover for a second. And as you can see, that contained looping rush is going to absolutely scream at the quarterback, okay? So another thing you could do is something like this right here, where basically we're gonna really get aggressive with this. And as you see, we're gonna get two, maybe even three people free at the quarterback. This is another um, this is another concept that I really like. So again, we're just gonna do this. And then what we'll do is this is a max protect type of defense. So I'm just gonna do this kind of setup here. I've got the soft squats. I know I'm getting pressure. And so at the snap of the ball, what I'm gonna do with my user is I'm going to instantly sprint over here. And as you see, we're gonna get completely clean pressure off that left looper that's coming in completely clean. So this blitz to me is one of the better blitzes in the game for several different reasons. Um, I will tell you guys that what one of the things that you didn't see a ton in this video, um, partially because it was practice mode, is, is that we didn't get to show you how really different this loop and pressure is and the a gap pressure that you can get within this defense so thanks for watching the video also if you want to get my full nickel triple defensive ebook i'm going to put a link to that in the description below you can get the full defense for just 15 dollars thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys next time